Level 9, I think. Going into it, that one's going to be a problem. It's going to be a big problem. So, uh, if he's wave 1, probably going to have a death here. I don't really see a way around it. Let's hope he's not wave 1. Ugh. That's not good. Yup, didn't want that. Gosh, he's got 1300 hit points. Oh, what's critical? Oh, well, I hit somebody, but not somebody I wanted. Please don't. Okay. Okay. I should be good. I'll take the Kelpie Blast, that's okay. Hopefully get Mechaton dead, and then I'll be able to go into the next round with an attack. I was gonna, I was toying with the Provoke ability, where he swipes, because he heals over the last two turns. Figure I, I could stack up those heals, and get more passive triggers, but I don't, I don't think that's gonna work in this scenario. I, I really need everything I possibly can throw at any fire that, that comes up. Dual strike, we'll get him out of there. Nice and easy. Almost full health, I will be after the second attack, which will set me up pretty well. I'm gonna go after Jekyll. He's neutral to me, but his dual strike and his crit ability could really do a number on me. 88 damage. So that's the thing. It, his armor is phenomenal. He is actually one of the very few that can solo with relative ease. Yes, we have to watch out for fire. But other than that, the melee strikes do very little damage. I would think in the long run, maybe someone... Hmm... Like an overpowered uh, Mechaton would probably be an issue. See, what Hearn has in armor, he lacks in pretty much everything else. He doesn't have any sort of scaling damage uh, or crit ability. It's, it's just his ability to defend, which is unique in the sense that he has to be utilized as the attacker in order to actually ramp up his damage so that you know, if you were to put Meowner on him, that he'd be worth anything, and you'd have to bring support. Anyhow, I guess I'll talk more about it in the next video. That was an easy level. See you later.